Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are came back with another interesting example in the factory I.O. That is sorting based on the color. Means we are going to sort the products based on their colors. So this is the complete setup of our factory I.O. that you can see over here. Uh, there are different kind of sorters in the factory I.O. In the last video we have seen one height based sorting machine and today we are going to see color based sorting machine. So here I have used this 5 watt arm sorter you can see over here. So first of all let me show you what the components I used in this setup. So this is simple conveyors. This is 4 meter conveyors and this is 2 meter conveyors. Okay. And then these are just slides. How I can get this? So here you can see these are the similar slides. By pressing the Y from keypad, I can rotate it like this. That's what I have done over here. These are the removers. Okay, that is over here. This is the remover. Okay, let me delete this. Now what else I have used? So here I have used these capacitive sensors so that you can get from your sensors. And this is the capacitive sensors. By pressing V from the keypad, I can place it like this. And by this, I can increase its range. This is how I set up it. I also rename this. How I rename that, I show you. So by clicking over here, double click and you can change the name of the sensor. Okay. Now, okay. So these are the common things that we use in every project. This is the operating panel where I have used start button, reset button and this displays. So how to set up this, see your previous videos. You can drag and drop like this, everything. And you can rotate it like this. Then move in vertical direction by pressing V. So in this way, I brought all my components and rename that this as a green box counter, blue box counter. And the configuration of this displays that I have kept as integer, okay, all three displays. So this counter will show how many blue box sorted, green box sorted and all this. Now there are the two different things. First this sorter, another is this vision sensor. So again in the sensors, I brought this vision sensor, okay, and pressing T. You can see we can increase its axis and by pressing V I can uh, move it in vertical direction. So this is how I got this sensor. You can see this is how I set up this sensor and how I got this kind of shape. So okay, first let me delete this. Go to all. Here you can see this one. So this is the shape. Again, I will move in vertical direction by pressing V or what is the another option? Right click and vertical trans. So in this way, I can move it. Then I will move in, in horizontal direction. So this is how I brought this C shape and vision sensor. Now coming to our sorter. Okay, so here you can see this is the sorter. Take in vertical direction. And now I am going to show you working of this sorter. Okay. When I click, the text will appear over here. And now I will click on the simulation. So I am going to show you the working of this sorter. In the configuration, I have used turn left. And what is turn left and right that I will show you. So let us uh, do simulation. When I press over turn, you see it is turning like this. So how I kept in my project, okay, first let me show you that. I will press Y like this. So you can see, okay, let me wrote over here. So because my conveyor is this side, so I will turn over left side. You can see, okay, let me press. This is turning left. If my conveyor is this side, so what I can do, I can turn it right side. So now, when I go for simulation and I press this, it is turning towards the right side. Let me change to left. 
Uh, let me show you this what is plus and minus sign. So you have to carefully observe it. So when I press this, you see conveyor is moving this side. This is the plus side. So in my project also, okay, when the part is coming over here, it should move left side and this side. Okay. If my conveyor will move in reverse side, my part will throw away from these conveyors. Okay. So in my project, I have used this output pivot arm sorter and pivot arm sorter belt plus. Okay. So this is the working of this sorter. I hope you got it. Because I have to sort three different kind of items. I have used three different sorters and here we will just use like this is the zero number arm this is the first number arm and this is the second number of arm so here we can see the text of that turning on this output it will turn left okay like this let me show you so i am using only these two outputs by turning on it will move left and by this this belt will start okay so in my program i am going to use these two outputs so this was all about factory io setup here i have used these three sensors for exit that means now what what is the principle of this project when part will come over here my vision sensor will give me analog value here uh, in the configuration i have selected all numerical okay so it will give me some analog value based on that value respective arms for example if it is blue color this arm will be energized so it will move left and belt will rotate and when the blue product is out of our main conveyor this is our main conveyor so it should reset so that another product comes and that respective arm can be energized so these are i have named as exit sensors for each exit conveyor okay now another thing you may be thinking why i cannot move this thing directly over here like means like this i keep this thing directly over here this arm will bring the blue box over here so why we can't do that so i have tried to do that what was the problem the problem was how to reset this we have to change the exit sensors so because this is the you see it's tilted surface so here product moves fastly and to set up this capacitor sensor over here is quite difficult so what i have done i tried to use this flat conveyor so this sensor can easily sense our exit product okay so this is the reason of using this extra three conveyors because i was getting problem in sensing this exit sensor product was moving very fast and because this is the tilted surface and you can see this is the horizontal okay sensor is horizontal so it was difficult to set up this sensor over here so this is the complete information of the factory io now quickly i will show you the programming and simulation of this i have already written my code to save the time i will just explain you and you can after understanding the working you can easily create by yourself so basically what i have done i have used this cpu model 1215c dc 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 and the basic thing is we have to copy paste our factory io function block so these are the basic things that i have shown in detail in the previous videos after that you have to write your code plc text compile all the function blocks and download it before downloading we have to start our plc sim from here and after downloading we have to run this and then we connect our factory io okay so it will take some time to connect our factory io so here in the drivers i have also connected my input and outputs so first let us keep connect and now first of all i have connected start and reset button at this inputs and then my exit sensor 1 exit sensor 2 and exit sensor 3 and our input is analog input vision sensor so that i have connected over here after that in my outputs here lot of outputs but don't worry uh, nothing too complex over here just there are five conveyors so here you can see these are the three sort end conveyors like this 
दिस इज ब्लू कन्वेयर ग्रीन कन्वेयर एंड दिस इज फॉर ग्रे कन्वेयर ओके एंड दिस टू मेन कन्वेयर फर्स्ट दिस वन एंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर आर फाइव कन्वेयर्स फर्स्ट टू कन्वेयर्स ओवर हियर एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द थ्री ओवर हियर आफ्टर दैट वी हैव यूज थ्री आर्म्स एंड टू कंट्रोल ईच आर्म वी हैव टू आउटपुट्स फर्स्ट टर्न इट लेफ्ट एंड सेकंड टर्न इट्स बेल्ट ओके सो दिस टू आउटपुट्स फॉर शोटर दैट इज पाइवट आर्म शोटर जीरो नंबर दिस टू फॉर वन नंबर एंड दिस टू फॉर टू नंबर नाउ दिस exclamatory mark shows that i have forced this so here i have to release this before doing simulation okay now coming to our programming so this was the basic steps so we have connected successfully and uh, let me close this minimize this just my view click on the monitoring mode first of all i have enabled my factory io function block after that when i will press the start button all the conveyors will start so this is simple set all the conveyors and similarly at the end of the program i will write reset for all these conveyor by pressing the reset button okay now comes uh, when our conveyor is on the value of vision sensor should move to a data register okay because our sensor is connected over id30 how you can get this move block so in the instruction so you can see this is the move instruction from here you will get this okay so we are moving our sensor value to md0 now we will compare the value of data register with my predefined values if i will put blue box below the analog sensor i will get value 1 from the sensor so here i have kept 1 and it will set one memory bit that is m0.1 for that means my program will understand that this is the blue box so i have to start logic for sorting blue okay similarly when i will place the green disk over sensor i will get the value 4 how i know this values so in the factory io without connecting to the tia portal start the simulation and place different kind of this over here and you will get the value in the vision sensor how uh, you will get that okay so this is the vision sensor value and i will show while doing the simulation so based on this i have used comparator again in the instructions by going to comparator functions uh, you have to select compare equal equal to and uh, at the top you have to write md0 and bottom this values and for gray box it will give me seven value the vision sensor will give me value 7 so for example if the box is blue this bit will be on what happen after that let me show you so okay, first let me do one thing i will show you these things only so when i start my simulation and i press my start button so at this you have to observe over here this bit will be set okay you can see this bit is set now what happened this was the gray now this was the green so pivot turn green and belt green energized and when this sensor gets on it resetted so similarly i have taken when the system is on means main conveyor is on and the respective memory bit is on then the arm turn left and arm belt outputs will be setted so how it will be resetted so the same logic i have written for all the conveyors like this is for blue if the blue memory bit is set this arms will be setted so this is the green so green arm and green belt will be setted okay similarly if this is gray then gray arm and gray belt will be setted now this is the blue so this blue the, you can see yellow thing that means it is setted and when this sensor is getting output it will be resetted so what is the logic for reset that i will show you this is for one sorter so for reset there are the two condition either i press reset button from here so that is the first thing or there is the exit sensor that will reset our pivot arms and besides resetting our outputs we also have to reset our memory bit 
okay that is the thing so the same thing i have written for green and gray also now how so let me show you for blue i have to reset m0.1 and the outputs that is q0.2 and 3 so how i can get this so here you can see so blue i have sorted from here m0 so i have to reset 2 and 3 so similarly for green i have to reset this memory bit and this outputs arm1 and arm1 belt okay so this thing i have written for all the three conveyors so it is very simple logic so this time okay this is gray box so how gray this is resetted so when this exit sensor will come it will reset all this memory bit and outputs this was the simple thing and finally we want to count our product so this is reset all the conveyors and to count say for example exit sensor 1 will count blue boxes so i have used an counter up function how i can get this so again from here in the counter i have used ctu count up to again drop this over here in the count up I have kept my exit sensor and reset button to reset the counter in the present value. So maximum, let's say we are going to count up to 100 only and the here current value. So I want to display the value of counter to my display over here in this displays. Okay. So that I have for blue, I have connected over QD30. Similarly, for green, I have used the same, exactly same things, just the change is this exit sensor 2 because green box will come over sensor number 2 and gray box will come over sensor number 3 so let us see this is the green and here it will increase this green display value when this sensor is energized you can see it is become 15 okay now there is some malfunction a uh, one box move but here a uh, value increased by 2 so that is some malfunction of 3IO connecting with TIO portal that I am going to solve in the next video. Or we can also use this positive triggering over here. Okay. So here our program ends. And this was our project of sorting based on the color. Again summarizing when the sensor value we are comparing. Okay. So this is sensor value 7. When sensor value is equal to 7. These two outputs should be setted. Okay, simple logic. And when this sensor is activated, these outputs will be resetted. That is the simple logic. You can write by yourself also, or you can watch my code to make your project. Okay. And what is the another thing to reset? So when I press this, then also all the outputs get resetted. And when I start this, okay, so now because I resetted, that box will not be sorted. But other books will work as per previous discussion. You like this video? Okay. I forget to show you thing over here. So this was the blue box. So here you can see the sensor is showing value 1. Again you can see it is showing value 1. So these things you can know by placing different disk over here. So here it is showing value 4. So this was our project of sorting based on the color. In the next video, we will bring another project that is sorting based on the weight. Means based on the weight of the box, we will sort the boxes. So if you like this video, show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video with another interesting example.